Hello and welcome to Path Made Easy. Today's case is an example of oral lichen planus affecting the buccal mucosa. So just to give you an overview, we've got the uh, stratified squamous epithelium on the surface of the biopsy and you can see it's very faintly keratinized. There is a slight pink band on the surface. However, the epithelium here is largely normal, so we can see the basal cell layer and the prickle cell layer, etc. Now, as we move to the left, I want you to compare it to this area here. So hopefully you can see that the degree of keratin has increased. And not only that, but the epithelium has become thinner, so it is atrophic. And the reason it's become thinner is because it has become damaged due to this lichenoid inflammation, whereby the lymphocytes are causing the basal cells to undergo apoptosis. So in the lamina propria, all these blue dots, or at least a large proportion of them, will be lymphocytes. And we can't tell what type of lymphocyte they are, as in T or B lymphocytes, without using immunohistochemistry. But knowing the pathogenesis of lichen planus, they're probably T lymphocytes. And what we can see is that several of these lymphocytes are migrating into the lower layers of the epithelium. And instead of a nice basal cell layer at the bottom of the epithelium, we've got prickle cells abutting directly onto the connective tissue. So we have quite a lot of basal cell loss. Now, the variability of the inflammation can be appreciated, and this is quite common in biopsies for lichen planus, whereby some areas are relatively uninflamed and other zones have a higher degree of inflammation. And where you have more inflammation, you tend to have more keratin. And that reflects um, the varying appearances within the oral cavity as well, and that striated appearance that you may be used to looking at. So this is an example of oral lichen planus within the oral cavity. I would just like to finish by saying that Lichenoid inflammation is not entirely specific to lichen planus and it can be seen in lichenoid drug eruptions and several other conditions. So if you see this pattern of inflammation, you do need to correlate it with the clinical findings to refine your final diagnosis. So this was an example of lichen planus. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel, Path Made Easy. Thank you.